A Victoria anesthesiologist is calling for a coroner's inquest into the death of a newborn baby at Victoria General Hospital. The infant was dead on delivery earlier this month, and Dr. Sue Ferreira says the circumstances of the death deserve a full and independent review. Ferreira says there was a delay in care for the mother who required an emergency cesarean section. She says the laboring mother was moved out of the obstetrics unit into the main operating room, but once there, she still had to wait until a standby anesthesiologist was called in from home. A News reporter Stephen Andrew has the story. The death in the operating room occurred at Victoria General Hospital a week ago today. The Vancouver Island Health Authority says privacy issues prevent it from releasing any details, but confirms a review is underway. VHA will be conducting for quality uh, case review uh, and will determine the details of the particular case. Most of the world, and even the third world, has uh, separated, uh, has, has, a, has dedicated uh, anesthesiologists for obstetrics. Dr. Sue Ferreira, an anesthesiologist at VGH, calls the incident a nightmare for the family and alleges there was a delay in care. Um, I understand that even Vihar has, has said that uh, that this was a high-risk case. Well, here's my point. It's a high-risk case. We're meant to be a high-risk high risk unit. We do not come up to the Canadian uh, guidelines here. Currently, there is no anesthesiologist in the delivery room at night at Vic General dedicated to cover high-risk pregnancies, especially emergency C-sections. Dr. Ferreira says the mother had to be moved to the main operating room and a backup anesthesiologist called in from home. Ferreira says the health authority was warned 18 months ago there were severe or catastrophic risks associated with this plan. I was actually away last week and I've come back to find out that that exact scenario has played out in the way that we knew it would play out and I think that is it's just devastating for everyone. We identified this problem, nothing was done and now we have a result. It's multifactorial. It may. I. I just think it's. Uh, it's. It's a case that that needs to be fully, fully looked at and fully discussed and uh, and guidelines made so that this doesn't ever happen again. The health authority says it supports the idea of two anesthesiologists on duty, and says it took 10 minutes from the C-section being called to the start of anesthetic. The anesthetists themselves have refused to provide the service for the maximum amount that's allowed under the current physician master agreement. So this is a, a salary dispute? In part, uh, again, the reason that we're not seeing the service provided is that the anesthetists have stated they will not provide the service for the amount that is offered in the physician master agreement. Corner says the baby was stillborn, and any review of the case is the responsibility of the health authority. In Victoria, Stephen Andrew, A News. Ferreira's last day at Vic General is tomorrow. She gave her notice in June, concerned about patient safety issues, which she says are not being addressed. She is moving her practice to Edmonton this fall.